dear students in this class we are going to see the concept of injected minority carrier charges in the last class already we have seen the complete concept of continuity equation in order to understand this injected minority carrier charges let me take a lengthy semiconductor bar of n type uniformly doped with the density of donor atoms if the radiation falls on this sample at x is equal to 0 some of the protons will be captured by the bound electrons in the covalent bonds in this sample whenever they are getting the energy at the illuminated surface electron holes will be generated along this bar of course more number of electron hole pairs will be generated at the surface x is equal to 0 now let me investigate the variation of this minority carrier's injection along this bar that means with respect to distance x so for that let me assume that there is a low level injection on the semiconductor bar so what is meant by low level injection low level injection means here the minority carriers are holes and majority carriers are electrons but my interest is always on the variation of the minority carriers injection so whatever that is there that is injecting into the bar is nothing but the holes that to injected means p dash if this p dash is very very less than this n n means number of electrons then it can be called as a low level injection that means p bar is very very less than n that is called as low level injection if the injected carriers are very very less than the majority carriers then i would like to tell about the different types of the currents in the semiconductors and you know very well the drift current and diffusion currents are existing in the semiconductor bar and that too there are two carriers one is electrons another one is the holes electrons are the majority carriers here and your drift current j is equal to n q mu z that means the drift current is always proportional to the density of the carriers if the density of the carriers is more your drift current is also more but here what you have to remember is the carriers majority carriers are there that is n is very very greater than this p bar so that's why at this condition i can say only diffusion current can be considered for this minority carriers and the drift current cannot be considered because the number of injected minority is very very less than the majority carriers of course drift current for the majority carriers is existing but the drift current for the holes is negligible because the number of minority carriers are very less just like an example if you are taking the n type bar if you are taking 100 electrons and only three holes are injected because of this radiation from the sample then definitely this drift current may be neglected because only three holes are here but whereas the drift current is existing for the n type that means the majority carriers electrons here so that's why what i'm assuming is the current due to the holes is only due to diffusion so that is the reason let me develop a differential equation about the variation of this hole concentration along the sample so for that what i would like to tell you is the drift current is neglected for the holes but whereas the diffusion current can be considered you know very well from the previous classes the diffusion current for this one is jp is equal to minus q dp into dp by dx this is an expression for the diffusion current now once again let us recall the continuity equation here the continuity equation is telling do rho by do t do p by do t is equal to p naught minus p by tau p minus 1 by q into do j p by do x this is already an expression which is actually derived in the last class here you can say this j p is nothing but the diffusion current here so if you substitute this diffusion current in this expression and making this dou p by dou t is equal to 0 that means under the steady state condition 
and we are going to get an excellent differential equation about the variation of this minority concentration along this bar. So just to substitute here, dou P by dou T, dou P by dou T is equal to P naught minus P by tau P minus 1 by Q into dou by dou X of JP. What is JP? Minus Q DP, DP by DX. So if you substitute, if you differentiate with respect to the X, you are going to get P naught minus P by tau P minus 1 by Q into minus Q DP into D square P by DX square with respect to X I am just doing the differentiation and Q and Q will be cancelled and at the, at the study state dou P by dou T is equal to 0 at the study state dou P by dou T is equal to 0 rate of variation of the holes with respect to time is equal to 0 then this expression will be simplified as you can say P naught minus P by tau P is equal to is equal to this side if you are taking this term to this side is equal to minus dp into d square p by dx square. So I can say d square p by dx square is equal to and if you take the minus to this, this side and dp to this side p minus p naught divided by dp into tau p where tau p is nothing but mean lifetime of the holes and as dp is nothing but the diffusion constant for the holes. So this is the second order differential equation telling about the variation of the minority carriers. In our case what are the minority carriers? Holes, injected holes. Injected holes are varying with respect to your time as well as distance also. So here what do you mean by this dp that is much more important. dp means diffusion length of the carriers. Now I would like to explain what is the diffusion length here. Diffusion length means very simple. If you are taking the semiconductor bar here and at x is equal to 0, the holes, injected holes will be more. Whenever you are actually traveling through a semiconductor bar, the hole concentration goes on decreasing exponentially like this. So let me say at x is equal to 0, the whole concentration is like this. At x is equal to 0, whole concentration is P. And whenever you are traveling through a semiconductor bar, the whole concentration goes on decreasing like this. And at a particular point of time, its value will be equal to 1 by E or 36.7% of its initial value. And whatever the distance you have traveled for getting this value is called as your diffusion length. This is dp. So now I would like to tell you diffusion length is nothing but the distance traveled in a semiconductor bar where the whole concentration is 1 by E or 36.7% of its initial value. That means the value at x is equal to 0. So at x is equal to 0, let us assume that 100 holes are here. Whenever you are traveling through a semiconductor bar like this, its value goes on decreasing like this. What, at whatever the distance you are having, the holes 1 by E or 36.7% of its initial value, that length is called as diffusion length of the carriers. So diffusion length, it is almost all equivalent concept like your skin depth and your electromagnetics. So this is a way of understanding this diffusion length. So, the controlling differential equation which is telling about the variation of this minority carrier concentration along the bar is given by d square p by dx square is equal to p minus p naught by dp into tau p. So now I would like to write down the solution for this equation. You know very well it is a second order differential equation having two unknowns for this. So let me complete the solution of this. Variation of this minority carrier concentration along the semiconductor bar. Okay. Just now we have developed the second order differential equation telling about the variation of this minority carrier concentration along the semiconductor bar. And mathematically we have already developed this. 
that is b square p by dx square is equal to p minus p naught by dp into tau p. dp means diffusion constant for the holes, tau p means mean light type of the holes. And as for the definition of this diffusion length LP, it is a distance into a semiconductor at which the injected minority concentration falls to 1 by E or 36.7 percent of its initial value at x is equal to 0. So, mathematically, diffusion length LP is equal to root of dp into tau p. dp into tau p. So, that is why I can say that this d square p by dx square is equal to p minus p naught by lp square, the diffusion length square. So, just converting this expression into the injected carrier charges. Injected means very simple. Injected is always given by the letter p dash is equal to what is the concentration, final concentration p and already the thermally generated carriers are there that is nothing but p minus p naught. So, in the place of p minus p naught I can write down p dash. Then the differential equation is d square p dash by dx square is equal to p dash divided by lp square. This is the differential equation for the injected carrier charges. Now, as it is a second order differential equation, I can write the solution for this. You know how to write down the solution for the second order differential equation. Of course, it requires two unknowns. So, coming for this, I can write down p dash is equal to, coming for the solution, p dash is equal to sum k1 into e to the power of minus x by lp plus sum k2 into e to the power of plus x by lp. What is lp? Diffusion length of the carriers and k1 and k2 are the unknowns. It is to be evaluated now. So, how to evaluate this k1 and k2? Now, listen, if x tending to infinity, k2 is also becoming infinity. It is not the correct result because if you whenever you are going for the infinite distance, then definitely the concentration may not be infinite. Finally, it is reaching the value only p0. That is why 100 percent we can say k2 must be equal to 0. So, this conclusion is telling k2 is equal to 0. This is the result we are going to get this. Now, coming for this k1, at x is equal to 0, at x is equal to 0, that means I am applying the boundary conditions. At x is equal to 0, e power 0 is 1. At x is equal to 0, what is this p dash? p dash is nothing but p dash of 0. So, frankly speaking, it is p dash of x. So, at x is equal to 0 means at the beginning of the sample, the injected one is p dash of 0. Therefore, I can say that p dash of 0 is equal to some k1. So, k1 value is nothing but p dash of 0. So, writing the solution for this, I can write down the complete solution. p dash of x is equal to k1 into, k1 means you can say p dash of 0 into u to the power of minus x by lp that is equal to p of x minus p naught. Therefore, the total variation is nothing but p of x is equal to p naught plus p dash of 0 into u to the power of minus x by lp. It is the final solution for this variation of the whole concentration. Now, I will explain in a clear way. Whole concentration with respect to distance x is equal to even from your network theory also you can write down. The complete response is equal to final value plus final minus initial value into e to the power of minus x by some time constant at that time. So, what is the final value here? Final it is reaching to the p naught value. That is why final is p naught. This is final value. Plus what is p dash of 0? p dash of 0 means final minus initial. That means injected value. What is the injected value here? It is p dash of 0. So, this is p dash of 0 into e to the power of how the variation is taking place? Exponential variation. That is why exponentially. Exponentially, it is decreasing. 
whenever the length increases like this. So it is minus x by Lp like this. That means if you see the variation of this diagram, the whole concentration is equal to finally it is reaching to the final value P, not plus. Injected value is P dash of 0, but this injected value is goes on decreasing exponentially, that's why it is the power of with respect to distance and it is actually considering up to the diffusion length that is the reason you are writing this lp so this diagram is telling you are injecting at x is equal to 0 and it goes on decreasing as you are going into the semiconductor bar that's why finally my conclusion is my my dear friends whenever you are talking about the injected minority carrier charges whenever the radiation is given at this moment x is equal to 0 more number of photons are captured by these bound electrons. That's why electron hole pairs are generated. But the variation of this minority carrier concentration goes on decreasing because of the recombination also. So that's the reason because we have taken n type bar. In n type bar, what happens? The majority carriers are electrons. Minority carriers are very less, nothing but the holes. And the holes will be more at the x is equal to 0 because at that place only we are giving much more energy but whenever you are going to the semiconductor bar and the whole concentration goes on decreasing like this it is a semiconductor bar at x is equal to 0 I am giving this thermal energy to this radiation and at this moment at x is equal to 0 maximum concentration of the holes will be there whenever you are going into the depth of the semiconductor bar here it goes on decreasing like this so that is the reason I would like to tell you the variation of the minority carrier concentration decreases exponentially with respect to distance x and at whatever the distance its concentration is 1 by e or 36.7 percent it is called as the diffusion length of the carriers. So in this class you should know the meaning of the diffusion length of the carriers, low level injection and how the minority carrier concentration is varying with respect to distance x. And this is the most useful phenomena whenever you are going to discuss about the diodes. Okay, I hope you understood this concept very well. Thank you.